Ah, I love getting stack wiped by the Ottomans. I swear, how did the Ottomans end up fighting an Irish nation? Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video, where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation, U4 in 1444, with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back over in Ireland as the nation of Munster, or Munster, I don't know what it's pronounced, I'm going to say Munster from here on out, I'm sorry if it's wrong, but that's that. Munster is a nation located in the southern tip of Ireland, right here we start off with this 333 guy that's not that bad, and I actually don't know Munster ideas, so let's go ahead and check them out. We start off with minus 5% land maintenance and minus 25% cost effect claims which actually isn't that bad finishing off with a missionary in the meantime we got domestic trade power plus 15 percent multi-war exhaustion minus 0.02 kind of weird but whatever attrition for enemies discipline global settler increase maybe the game wants us to colonize yearly navy tradition privateer efficiency and spy network construction plus 20 percent and we also start off with the only fort over in ireland but what do we do as moonster well since there's another nation named moonster or monster over in germany one commenter had a very good suggestion that that as this nation, we should do what the other nation is supposed to do. So let me explain. Today, as Moonster, we're going to attempt to go into the HRE and form the nation of Westphalia, a nation that this Moonster is supposed to form. And then next week, when we get to play these guys, with these guys, we'll go over to Ireland and form the nation of Ireland. So basically, as the two Moonsters, we're going to swap things around and do what the other one is supposed to do. I think it's going to be very, very cursed. I think this one is going to be harder than the other one breaking into the hre not gonna be easy but uh oh well i guess we have to try so let's jump in as moonster all right all right here we are as moonster and i actually don't have a game plan for this campaign man uh i'm thinking on december 11th 1444 we tried a no cb east freezer right here because as you guys know they aren't in the hre but that might be a little bit tricky because in these latest patches they get strong allies men like denmark england and stuff like that so if they don't have any allies uh december 11th i think i'm just gonna declare so uh until well, then let's go ahead and do the estate setup all right all right estate stuff done by the way i'm still away on a trip still no internet and still no face cam so sorry about that um one or two more videos are going to be like this but either way estate stuff done is there any point to setting rivals right here i don't think so uh our force limit is uh six right here so let's go ahead and take this army get rid of this uh cavalry regiment get a uh, you know one or a couple more of these guys get the free company as well boom just like that and we do have some boats right here seven lights three transports uh okay i'm actually gonna go ahead and take out oh my god the loans are so small dude uh i'm gonna get like two okay two 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 more transports and we'll see if we can uh, get this started right away i'm not gonna do anything with the merchants or diplomats for now let's wait for uh december 11th there it is december 11th east frisia ah ha, ha, you i'm not even gonna say it of course they allied denmark man see the ai knows boys the ai is psychic man i'm telling you okay uh we're not no cbing anyone i guess Ah, uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a lot longer than I thought it'd be. Okay, so now the game plan changes. Now we conquer Ireland and England, and then from England invade into the HRE somehow. Uh, yeah, how is that gonna work though? How is that gonna work? Uh, I mean, I guess we have time, right? Westphalia's admin tech ten, so we gotta do something until then. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and set up some rivals: Clan Ricard, uh, Leinster, Desmond, right here. And can I actually get some allies right off the bat? Uh, no, no allies. Well, I am gonna start improving with. Uh, wait, as an Irish guy, we can ally France. I'm gonna improve with France and uh, uh, no one spy on Desmond right here. I guess you're kidding me. Desmond has allied Brittany. What the? <laughs> Excellent. What about these guys? Okay, this is who will fight. Well, Spine Network has been built. Let's go ahead and give our ruler mill command right here. Attach the free company to the main army. And uh, there's our first declaration on Thamond and Leinster, which I'm not going to call belligerent because they're allied to England. Uh, let's hope Desmond gives us mill access here. They will. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah, so Denmark, Sweden declared independence right away, which means Denmark probably wouldn't defend East Frisia. Yep, they wouldn't, but uh, they've also joined the HRE. So uh, I do not like the way this game has started war is done these guys have been declared on by lots of other guys but yeah there's no need to vassalize them and fight these guys when we literally don't have any allies so i'm just gonna full annex both of these fellas there we go that war is done now we can make a claim on ormond as well perfect 
And um, I think we're gonna pop this off immediately. Sle th that's these guys, right? Nice, sweet. We can co belligerent them too. Uh, where's the other army? Both of them are here. Okay. This war is done too, and we can wrap these two guys up. Boom, perfect. There we go. Meanwhile, England has expanded over here a little bit. They've taken this province and this province. Uh, meanwhile, they're not allied to anyone else over here. Scotland is allied to Terconnell, but we can take care of the four remaining nations pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and uh, core those provinces up. I do already have claims on some of them, and I'll wait just like a month or two and then declare immediately we gotta blitz all of these guys so then you know we can assess our situation properly i mean yeah let's declare immediately i even have miltech over these guys so yeah yeah, by the way, England a lot more aggressive right now with taking provinces. They just declare on these guys too. That's because the main war didn't happen. They just gave main away to France. Oh, there's a royal marriage with France. Perfect, dude. Now we can, um, what you call it? Now we can ally them right after this war ends. I'm going to try and go for the Burgundian succession here too. You know, hopefully to get some HRE borderlands, but I don't think we're going to do this. Uh, hopefully we can use France to fight England though. Oh, 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 no. No, they're right. The Sweden who's really strong. Castile and Portugal, dude. Castile is gonna get Aragon. Oh my god. Yeah, this is not the kind of England I wanted to see in this run, boys. Ah, uh, frick. And we're done here. So is England, by the way. Let's take these two provinces. And um, yeah, now I'll chill a little bit. Uh, declare on Desmond right here. Hopefully, uh, Brittany doesn't come in to fight me. Oh, nice. Estate agenda completed. And there's the alliance with France as well. All right, now we're secured defensively. It's just, uh, you know. I mean, yeah, there's nothing to do. I'll uh, I'll actually go ahead and declare on Desmond right here. I don't know if we can do something with this. We can't take anything from Britain. And even if we do it, it really doesn't matter. This is where we want to go, not here. So yeah, I'll just wait for these guys to unconditionally surrender. Meanwhile, I am tech four in every category. The cheapest province to dev, I guess, would be my capital. So let's activate and encourage right there and uh, start pushing for the Renaissance, man. Yeah, I don't really see anything uh, else we can do with our points right here. You know what? If you can't beat them, join them. Maybe we can use this sort of triple alliance here to take down England. Now, wait a minute. Uh, I'm looking at some options right here. So if we go for this first, right? Transfer subject and claims bordering claims. We could chain claim our way to over here and fight uh, the weakest nation in Northern Europe. Europe, Denmark. Even though they still have Norway and some weakish allies, France would help me with that. And, um, you know, it is a lot better than no C being them, less aggressive expansion. And with that, we'll border the HRE. If we're small enough, we can join it too by uh, improving relations with Austria. So I think that's the plan right now. You know, chain claim my way through England over to here to get to Denmark or yeah, Denmark. Okay, and we're about done here. I uh, stack wiped some Britain armies. Okay, so that's uh, that's pretty much it for the conquest over in Ireland, man. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and core that up. I think I'll rival no one. And um, yeah, I think we're going to go through with that chain claiming plan and fighting Denmark later on. I have spawned the Renaissance and I did fix our economy by getting big loans and paying off the smaller ones. And I'll just get a couple of more regular loans. I can't do uh, burger ones. I already have them. And uh, there's the Renaissance. I guess we could try and sell it to someone. Uh, France. Sweet. Yeah, there's some uh, extra income right there. Perfect. All right. Now I don't think there's anything to do, man, until we get this right here. I deleted the light ship fleet and I've started building galleys. Okay, so I thought I was pressing record when in reality I was pressing stop record. It's kind of hard for me to see what's going on with uh, just one screen here, boys. But uh, what you missed is me pretty much getting Renaissance in every single province. So now we got two age objective TikTok. We got a uh, Splendor coming in nicely. So in about five to ten years, we should be able to claim Denmark, which, by the way, still hasn't changed its alliance situation. Also took my first idea group just now, which is uh, diplomatic ideas. This will help us, you know, hopefully enter the HRE. But if we can't enter, it should still help us get some big allies to help us fight the HRE guys and the uh, Emperor. So that's pretty much uh, the only thing you've missed. Right now, we're just chilling and waiting for this to get to 800 so we can take this. You know what's very interesting? I didn't have a single rebellion. Not one. Not one stack of rebels rose up, which is pretty strange for Ireland, man. I always usually get rebel bombed. Then again, I never did decrease autonomy. So maybe that's the reason. <laughs> Yup. Hey, would you look at that? A new champion of the joust. A hundred tradition general. Let's see if he's worth it. And he's actually really good. I like that. All right. Uh, now we can claim Cornwall and pretty soon we'll get that in just a couple of months. Then after claiming Cornwall just now, I need to claim uh, Sussex right here. After that, I should claim Calais. It's going to be like a 40 spy network, right? Yeah. And after claiming Calais, I can claim Groningen. And after claiming Groningen, I can claim Schleswig right here. And then we could go ahead and declare on Denmark. Everything is looking normal. France um, isn't that, but you know, I think they should pay that off. They're quite wealthy. Brunswick, I don't really count on them helping. But uh, yeah, with just France, we can 
easily do this. That's what I'm counting on. And there's the age ability. Excellent. Now we can chain claim. Uh, either way, still need to get a 40 spy network on England and then 40 spy network again so we can get the Frisia in Denmark. There's Sussex. Okay, ruler just died, so I guess this is how it works, right? We can elect uh, that guy, I guess, which is already there. Basically, let him rule. Then we can choose this average claim English guy. Uh, one, two, one, uh, noble guy, and three, oh, two, whatever guy. Okay, so we're definitely not getting an English guy. Let's, you know what? Uh, these guys suck. I don't know if this guy's any good, and plus he's English, so it's pretty much blasphemy. I'll just keep the guy I have. Okay, another 40 spine work on England. There we go. We can, uh, oh, it needs to be 45. Well, there we go. 45 spine work on England. Let's claim Calais. Excellent. This means we can claim this. Excellent. And that means we can claim uh, Schleswig and uh, some more provinces too, actually, since our spine work on uh, Denmark is pretty, uh, pretty big. All right. There we go. We're set. Let's recall all of these guys. And France would help versus Denmark. Perfect, dude. Okay, let me just uh, fight this rebel stack that I'm going to provoke right now. And uh, we'll get ready to declare. Well, all right. Let's get this uh, campaign started for real, boys. There's our declaration over in Denmark. Declare for uh, Schleswig, Colin, Scotland, France, and Brunswick. Way more overpowered than any of these guys right here. So, uh, yeah, after getting a foothold in here, I'm going to try and join the HRE. If I can't, well, I don't know. We're going to have to try and find a workaround. But, um... Here goes nothing. Okay, so I could have joined the HRE. Oh no, capital cannot be connected to the Empire. Well, if I move my capital to Schleswig and if I improve with Austria enough, we can join. Excellent. So I guess I should only take one province right here, right? In order to not grow too big, so I don't need to have more relations with Austria. War is going okay-ish. Tier 3, governor form time. I'm going to go expand a real court right here. Yeah. Also, second idea group time. Now we definitely have to go with something mill-related. Let's go offensive. Okay, since I only want Schleswig, we can also get war reps too and some money. I think it's time to peace out. No need to drag this out for any longer. Norway is also trying to siege me down, so... uh. Yeah, that's that. All right, now we border the HRE, technically. Once we move our capital to Schleswig, we should be able to enter it. The only hurdle now is uh, relations with Austria that need to be 145, but they're uh, 104 right now. So, actually, I think we can pop off a royal marriage here, man. Uh, let me try and scornfully insult the Ottomans. Let's see if that'll work. Yes, that did work. Excellent. There's a royal marriage with Austria, uh, and relations are good enough to join the HRE right after I move my capital this last week. Perfect. Okay, now here's the game plan. Uh, basically, I need the culture shift to Westphalian, which is uh, these provinces right here. So instead of conquering through all of these guys, I think I'm just going to invade Oldenburg, and uh, then we're going to fight Munster. We do need to wipe them out, of course. That's a bonus goal that I forgot to mention. Conquer some more provinces, and then it's just a push till admin deck 10. Yeah. Seriously, dude, the English conquest of Sealand? Do they even have a claim there? <laughs> how, how did they declare that? What? I swear, man, this AI loves to follow you around. If I started a game in, you know, uh, Far East Kamchatka, AI Castile would be there colonizing next to me. I swear, man. All right, so this is cored up. Let's go ahead and full state it. And then we can move our capital there. Perfect. Now our capital is there. And we can, uh, where'd the HRE thing go? I'm blind or something. <laughs> We're in the HRE. Yay. <laughs> Hi, Oldenburg. And we're done with Oldenburg. Excellent. So we can go ahead and take that. And actually, I want to dissolve my alliance with Brunswick because I may go ahead and fight them. Uh, there we go. Spying on Munster uh, as well. The other one, which we do need to take care of. Uh, we'll get to that as soon as we uh, chill a bit. I've just allied Poland, which has Lithuania and uh, the Pope. And come to think of it, I actually don't need the Scotland alliance anymore. Oh, what is this? Burgundia succession. They chose to remain independent. And with that, France declared on them immediately. Now, let's let's see the situation here. All right, so it's Burgundy and their boys and Aragon and Naples and some Italian guys. Let's see the strength here. France and salute. So France, it is pretty powerful. Oh, I'm not feeling too confident about this, man. France, you know, it's really strong. But the thing is, these assholes are going to come siege me down, right? I got to accept them. All right, we're in this now, I guess. Yo, this is not looking good at all. Freaking France just went to siege down Naples. They're on 35%, by the way. But look at what's happening to, you know, continental France, man. I, I have to get out of this somehow. I got a white piece. Okay, war is over. France lost. Luckily, nothing bad happened to me. But uh, now that France sucks bad, I'm going to get rid of that alliance and uh, link up with Austria. 
Because why not? Okay, let's move on with our wars. I'm going to declare for Mepin right here, call in Saxony. And even though these guys have more troops, uh, Brandenburg, AI Brandenburg is a pushover, so we can knock them out real quick. There's our next war, fighting our uh, namesake, the other Moonster or Munster. War is going okay-ish. Uh, let's go with this to be friendly with the Pope. And there's an unconditional. What happens if we full annex them? Only 44 AE, which is exactly what I'm going to do. All right, now it's like 6 p.m. I stopped recording around 2 to have lunch, but I uh, ended up taking a nap as well. <laughs> Where were we? Right, I got some rebels to beat up. Okay, spying on Colm. So what do we need to do right here? Ah, uh, that's right. Conquer Westphalian cultured provinces. Uh, I actually don't know the requirements to form Westphalia until I flipped uh, to Westphalian cultures. So yeah, I guess I'll be promoting this pretty soon as soon as I stayed up on uh, North Westphalia right here. I think now I should be able to promote Westphalian. Yeah, there it is. And we can't culture shift yet because we need it to be, you know, more than 50% of our dev. But I think that will be possible as soon as we uh, conquer some more Westphalian culture provinces like the ones from Koln over here and stuff like that. So no need to unstate the Irish provinces is what I'm saying. Excellent. So we're spying on Koln. I think I'll go ahead and spy on uh, Berg as well. They do own... Uh, let's see right here. One Westphalian cultured province. Okay. Okay, so Poland. <laughs> would help me versus uh Koln, so let's call them in along with switzerland and uh go for these two provinces right here let's take a look for the province of westphalia itself oh dortmund is in this too hold up hold up hold up hold up so dortmund has a westphalian culture province right here right 13 dev you know decently highly dev it produces cloth center of trade and stuff like that but the thing is they're a free city right so we can never fight them without fighting the emperor you know what? I am going to declare on Cologne right here, but we might not actually take anything from them. And instead, we might only do the province of Dortmund right here. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, so if I separate piece Dortmund here, it's it's actually only 20 AE. That's not bad at all. And if I do it in the main piece deal along with this, dude, 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 it's only 33 AE, man. It's just that uh, everyone's so salty because I already did a lot of conquesting, right? But uh, look at everyone's at like 50, right? So Würzburg, Verden, Nassau, yeah, all of these guys are at 50. So if I chill a little bit more, a coalition won't form. If I chill for like next year, a coalition won't form. Let's uh let's put a merchant over here and tell him to collect from uh, Westphalia and to collect from Saxony. Rhineland Saxony is what I meant. And tell him to establish communities. And I'll actually go ahead and uh, hire an improved relations guy if I have him, which I don't. So let's wait uh, one more year. Uh, see if a coalition forms then. I also just got 50 people influence, so we can go with uh, that. Okay, you're a stick by. And by the way, sorry if you hear like uh, church bells in the background. <laughs> uh, let's see what happens now if I want to peace out. So that same thing. Yeah, no coalition. Excellent, dude. So there's uh, three more Westphalian culture provinces. Dortmund and then these two from Köln. Perfect. Now everyone should be mad-ish. Yeah, if I take one more province, I will get coalition. And in the meantime, I can coalition England. What did England do? Where's England? Oh, oh, oh. Interesting. Well, I'm glad I didn't have to fight them this campaign. <laughs> what, what the frick happened here, dude? But yeah, I'll uh, I'll definitely coalition them, man. I wonder if anyone else can join that. I doubt it, honestly. Yeah, no one else. Just Norway, to be honest. And see, this is what I'm talking about, right? AI England isn't usually strong until like 15, you know, something hits later than this. But look at this. In a game where we're playing right next to England, this sort of thing happens. They have actually expanded in southern France. The only thing they lost is Maine. Look at how much they've conquered over here in uh, Denmark. Provinces right here. Uh, Sweden is a junior partner. All of this is because I'm playing next to them, right? This normally doesn't happen, I swear, dude. The AI, when when it's close to you, or even if it's not, then it goes for you. If it's close to you, they become super powerful. Ugh. Oh, come on. Whatever, it's not like they'll get to me. So, pretty weak Austria, honestly. Even though they have Hungary, they got really stupid allies. You know, colonialism spawned a while ago. It'll spread here pretty quickly once we get the Cardinal Spread Institutions thing from whoever is the people controller. But I am going to start devving it a little bit over here in Oldenburg. Uh, so we can also bump up our uh, Westphalian, uh, what you call it, uh, you know, culture share or whatever. I'm only going to do it in admin for now since I maxed out on that. I mean, I'm at admin deck 8. Wrapped up offensive. Ah! I love getting stack wiped by the Ottomans. I swear, how did the Ottomans end up fighting an Irish nation? All right, now that all of that malarkey is behind us, uh, I'm going to go ahead and declare on uh, Berg right here, who is allied to Brunswick, and we'll be taking these two also uh, Westphalian cultured provinces. So yeah, let's declare for Ravensburg, call on the planet in Switzerland, and uh, get to it. Right, my general died. 
Okay, I mean, I guess we're done here. So these are the only two provinces I wanted. No risk of a coalition. And that's that. Okay, I think we own every Westphalian culture province. Yeah, we do. And uh, as soon as we core this up, or maybe even not after that. Yeah, we just need to dev these a little bit more. So uh, bump up uh, Oldenburg right here a little bit more. I actually already got colonialism, by the way. So uh, yeah, we'll just do something like this. Yeah, now it's 50%. So we need uh, 50 more Diplo points and we'll promote it and flip. And we'll see what we need to do to form Westphalia. Excellent. Okay, there's uh, Admin Tech 8, and we can also uh, Culture Shift to Westphalian. Perfect. All right, let's take a look at the requirements. There it is. Okay, Admin Tech 10. Sure, I'll go ahead and get that. Then we need Niederhessen, which is right here. Okay, I'll get to that as well. And then 12 owned provinces. Currently, I have seven in North Germany that are either Westphalian or Rhinish. So uh, either Westphalian or... Oh, okay, Rhinish is down here. So yeah, we need to conquer like five provinces down here. Okay, that, the requirements for that aren't too bad. Let's go ahead and um all right uh the first one got removed all right let's take an autocracy and let's do a little bit of more conquering and by the way what do you guys think will be more difficult this forming westphalia as irish moonster or forming ireland as a uh, german moonster what do you think is going to be harder uh until you guys see the next video think about that uh tier five thingy here what's what's the best i don't know this one that one i'm not barraging a whole lot and i don't think i will be let's go with that one i guess Okay, let's go ahead and fight Hesse here. Even though they're allied to Bohemia, my big boys will help me out. And by big boys, I mean Poland and their subjects. So this actually shouldn't be too difficult, even though we're fighting a pretty major nation. Uh, let's go ahead and nab two more provinces, one of which we desperately need. And we're done here. There we go. Two more provinces for us. Not too highly developed, so not a lot of aggressive expansion. Easy. Now we can go ahead and core these up. And with that, we're at nine, right? So we need... Right, we're at nine. Let's see right here once again. Yeah, and current nine is a monster core. Uh... Yeah, let's... let's score this up and see where we're at. I don't really get these uh, calculations. <laughs> okay, so now that things have been cored up, let's take a look at this again. And oh, actually, we only need one more province. Perfect. And then it's Admin Tech 10, which we'll be getting soon as well. So yeah, uh, it's you know, I'll wait like a month or two, declare a Nassau, and uh, that'll be that. Wow, what an easy campaign, man. I, I love you for I'm just so good at it. Let's get down to business to defeat Nassau. And uh, I think that's the final province that we needed. Yeah, there we go. Okay, a coalition will, won't really form. Perfect. I got chooses with a lot of those guys. Okay, so uh, let's core this up and wait just a little bit more, apparently until uh, 15, 19 July, and then we'll get Admin Tech 10, and then we'll be forming the nation of Westphalia. Yes! Dude, I'm so good at this game. Nah, bro, these guys are wilding out, yo. Look, they declared on freaking Muscovy, man. English conquest of pure whatever. I'm not even gonna say it. Like... Come on. And actually, tech got cheaper, of course, when the new year started. So now I can embrace admin tech 10. Doesn't matter which idea group we take. There we go. Let's go uh, expansion because whatever. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we can officially accomplish our primary goal. You know, our secondary one was to wipe out uh, the other Moonster. But our primary goal, which is to form Westphalia as the other Moonster, the Irish one. And there we go. New traditions and ambitions. Westphalian ideas. Super, super nice. We got this uh, mission charade here as well. But of course, we don't care about any of this because our... Uh, campaign well it's done but yeah there you go man start off as moonster in this province right here the only irish nation that starts off with a fort with decent national ideas and of course my initial plan was to no cb east frisia and enter the hre that way but of course east frisia managed to ally denmark great now they're allied to burgundy they they always get strong allies but even without that they joined the hre later on so we couldn't push into them i thought we have to do a massive painful campaign where we conquer all of ireland then push into britain and then jump from britain over here and then somehow start you know budget our way into the HRE, but we didn't have to do that. I was patient. Took a bunch of provinces over in Ireland. Not everything, though, because England was pretty aggressive. And as you guys saw, they're really, really powerful this campaign. But claims bordering claims fought a very weak into Denmark. Took Schleswig. Through Schleswig, we got into Oldenburg, and then through Oldenburg, we expanded over here. And now these are the provinces we own. We shifted to Westphalian culture, and then we managed to form Westphalia. Overall, a super fun campaign with a weird and wacky and zany and kooky goal, but uh, we did manage to accomplish it. Was never really too powerful uh relied at some points on some allies mainly on france in the war versus uh, denmark even though we didn't really need their help we could have done it with small guys as well and then relied on poland in a war or two never called in austria into anything it just helped us join the hre and uh yeah not too powerful this campaign didn't build too many buildings didn't get uh, too big of an army and stuff like that but in the end none of that matters because we did manage to accomplish our goal but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i'm happy to say that this campaign as moonster in a to z has been 
been a success. And that has been Moonster in A to Z. Don't let me know in the comments below what I should do as the German Moonster because I already told you we're going to be forming Ireland as them, the exact opposite of what we did today as the Irish Moonster. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk Live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.